इज एन डी टीवी एंड यूर वॉचिंग एन डी टीवी प्राइम इन एसोसिएशन विथ माइक्रोमैक्स The property sector is in the middle of a serious reality check. The prolonged economic slowdown has been particularly unkind to real estate developers. There is of course a lack of funding and investment, but also that many projects are just not selling. Government regulations are difficult and opaque, but every crisis has its survivors who swim against the tide and show others how it's done against all odds. ATS Group began its journey in real estate in 1998. It didn't take long to become the next big thing to watch out for, building stunning properties across the NCR. It made a splash with its very first project, the Art Deco inspired 3 acres ATS Greens 1 in Noida Sector 50. Today, ATS has delivered over 20 million square feet of residential space. has another 30 million square feet under progress and 30000 very happy residents the most important currency today in india's real estate is trust and if there's one brand which is standing tall on the pillar of trust it's ats i'm here today at ats hamlet to meet the founder and chairman of this exceptional brand ats gitambar anand Gitambar Anand has been leading ATS infrastructure since its inception. A man whose personal credibility precedes him. It's Anand's vision of the better way home that has shaped ATS into what it is today. That's not to say it's been an easy way. A man who started from humble beginnings, Gitambar Anand knew the importance of skill and hard work. He completed a bachelor's degree from the Punjab Engineering College to enter the world of construction to make an indelible mark on the real estate sector. There are so many developers who've gone through the real estate cycle from 1998 when you moved from construction to becoming a developer and have gone through the ups and downs yet you seem to have managed to deliver your projects in time and win that trust of the customer so tell me what's the secret recipe of gitambar anand and ats <laughs> it's no secret recipe it's a very simple uh, thought it's a very simple uh, principle mm -hmm. that is integrity and uh, it's just the responsibility of actually being answerable to whoever has trust in you and not betraying that trust that's it This is, so when developers say look we've gone through tough times and you don't know how difficult the business is and it's not about you know taking the monies out of the project we've genuinely had issues of raising capital of approval issues and therefore our projects are delayed how much of that you know seems like an excuse and how much of it is real uh, most of it is real mm -hmm. uh you see also manisha we have an advantage of uh, having our own construction arm and ah, muscle ah okay and also we maintain very high financial discipline mm -hmm. uh, each project you know our model is very simple each project is in a different entity so the cash flows of that project stay in that project and they're used for that project we mm -hmm. don't you know it's not like so financial discipline that's absolutely. that's very very, very critical very important. take off your hat of credai president right now okay. <laughs> <laughs> you will agree that financial discipline for those who are more in the crib mode financial discipline has been an issue it is To an extent, extremely yes. Extremely critical to have that financial discipline to be able to meet meet that customer promise. If you have financial discipline, you construct a building on time, and your uh, customers have more trust in you. Absolutely. If you don't do that, then even if you have a good intent and you launch another new project, but because of what you your track record or your history, you don't get sales, so you mm. don't get money. Now, fortunately for us. the trust has been built over projects mm -hmm. and we are able to generate good sales mm -hmm. initially also so that brings in money and that money is then absolutely ring fenced and kept in that company mm. 
only to construct. In spite of the slowdown of the economy, ATS has continued to attract investments. In 2010, the Singapore-based ASK Group invested more than 50 crore in one hamlet in Noida and more than doubled its returns. ASK's offshore fund then invested another 252 crore in the ATS La Grandiose and pristine projects in Noida. So I think we invested in ATS because of five key features. Impeccable track record of delivery within the committed timeline to the customer, quality of construction, quality of amenities and quality of post-delivery facility management by their in-house company, quality of neighborhood and ability to get premium pricing from the customer. In 2011, HDFC fund invested 250 crore in the ATS Triumph and ATS Tomlin projects. While ICICI Prudential AMC invested 130 crore for ATS housing. ATS has also successfully attracted FDI from leading players like ILNFS. All this in the face of massive hurdles that stand in the way of investment in real estate today. We have a, such a huge past record of uh, timely delivery. The second, uh, we have given a lot of exit to our existing P holders. We have paid approximately 1100 crore rupees in the last three years. Thirdly, uh, we have given them the good amount of uh, returns and it goes up to 50% uh, IRR also. Fourthly, we are uh, very transparent and uh, the corporate governances are very good. Meeting that customer trust, being able to deliver in time has also rewarded you in many ways. I mean, yes, I believe has. that you're the darling of PE investors. That's what everybody says. Every <laughs> PE investors just want a good return and they want their money back yeah. with profit. And uh -huh. we've been performing very well. Hmm. So naturally, they keep wooing us uh, to take more money. But we are also very careful there. We have hmm. an appetite, but we are... You see, the important thing in real estate is to keep tying up your back end. You know, the temptation, very rightly you said, is great to keep expanding exponentially very fast. Mm. But where everybody fails is that, you know, they keep taking more projects, but they don't deliver the ones they've already taken. Absolutely. So we and, have... And in NCR, I mean, yeah. the buyer is gone because of that. I know, but it's, it's, it's such a huge opportunity which has been lost by developers over here. And uh, there's such a huge demand, Manisha. This is, I think, one of the best markets in the country, the NCR market. ATS's greatest strength has always been their quality and speed of construction, giving them an edge over their competitors. Their in-house construction team has successfully delivered each of their projects on time, surpassing their quality benchmarks. The model was, you had, you know, most people would buy a, you know, a piece of land with capital, maybe right. to begin with of their own. Then they would bring in a contractor who would then start constructing and all. And it was relatively considered to be very simple to do. Right. And you get brokers to sell your product. So it's Correct. land, contractor and brokers. Now that contractor has disappeared. Uh -huh. There are no good contractors in the market. So therefore delivery itself has become an issue. Who do you, you so that buy? Is, that is a big challenge. It is. And it is going to get worse as time goes. So what you know we have promoted and mm -hmm. what I have always talked about in Kadai, because Kadai is very close to my heart. We have 11,500 members. So I've always told them, guys, please, you know, gear up to build yourselves hmm. because that is the only way forward. So, so backward integration doesn't mean that you set up prefab factories, Not but also all. ensure that you actually have the delivery mechanism. Absolutely. And, yeah. and that's the most critical thing. If you're shopping for an ATS home, you're likely set up for an existence in a cutting edge example of architecture and design. avant-garde installations have been given shape by some of the biggest stars from the world of design like Hafiz Contractor who shaped the skylines of Mumbai, Gurgaon and Noida and Oru Bose, an award-winning architect whose signature is his innovative township planning. ATS is one of those builders who delivers on time and just when it was delayed by even a short period of six months they gave us compensation. Not us, everybody here. So they are very, very transparent. Trust is what they have gone by. And they are one of the unusual builders who have been doing it as in delivering everything in time.
over a period of time, we have been able to accumulate whatever customers demand, what are their needs, what, are, what actually do they uh, want in their houses uh, when they are coming up, and we implement it. And therefore, we find that uh, the honor code is maintained. And for ATS, great form means great function. It has an almost perfect record in delivering its projects on time. Its job doesn't end once you've moved in either, as quick and easy maintenance is just a call away. There's definitely this whole ethos of taking the team along and, and that's really dear to your heart. Our customers and the people who work in the mm. organization, I consider the entire lot as one big ATS family. Ah, okay. So we have 20,000 customers, we've got 4,000 employees, we've got maybe 10,000 laborers mm. working at site. All these comprise an ATS family, ATS family. Mm -hmm. and for me that is very important and very close, very dear to me and I actually believe that if any one of them is not happy then I need to step in and set things right. Mm. So the result of that has been that we've had A we don't use brokers to sell, right. B we do our own maintenance. And then very few actually non-corporate developers have been able to crack yes. that as well, yes. take out that la layer yes. of brokers. Yes, you know I have had people come to me, my huh. customers and saying, you know, you know, we we uh, ha are your strongest brand ambassadors, huh. and we are proud to be your brand ambassadors. Oh, that's lovely! And uh, this is our company. And once having stayed in an ATS complex, you can't stay anywhere else. I just go by my heart. Whatever I like to do, it just comes to me, and you know, it's like somebody up there just tells me, okay, this is what you have to do tomorrow, and I just do that.